Hello everybody, Cody here, Boss Moses 3D. Today I just wanted to update you guys very quickly on an add-on I just released for Blender 4. And uh, basically what I did is I remade 3D Print Checker, the same one that was in the version 3 of Blender that was oddly removed in the 4th. Uh, update for Blender, so anything after 4.0 strangely doesn't have 3D print toolbox. So I went ahead and I basically just remade that, but a little bit better. This time it's a little bit more robust and it's a little bit more updated due to like all the new software for STLs and stuff coming out. Like they just have different methods, so I may as well have just found something new for uh, the 3D print uh, toolbox to do, right? So I found fix bad faces instead of just triangulating your model because before all that's going to do is just triangulate and it's not actually going to patch anything up really other than the manifold button and even sometimes that thing uh, deleted half your model. So I made sure that the manifold button now instead of just showing you 000 at the bottom of your screen it's going to show you this object was made uh, manifold successfully. So a lot of new people don't get confused on what those uh, d uh, digits down there meant. So you always wanted it to be 000, not like 1, 1, 24, and 3. That's just showing you the non-manifold faces. This time it's going to say not manifold yet. And then it's going to tell you to keep pressing the button until it says successful. And that's how you do that. And then we also have a fix bad faces right here at the bottom. It will now say mess geometry cleaned and repaired. So that's now good to go for 3D printing. So if your model is hollow for resin printing, this should make all your models walls even thickness for 3D printing. And now when you export it and you bring it into your slicer, you're not going to get any errors. And it also displays all of your information right here on exactly what it's doing and by its cubic units, which is very important in that it didn't show you before. Four. So now that that's all done, I also have another version to show you guys really quickly. That'll be version 2 to this because I do just replace the old add-on so you do get free updates. So I won't have like a another one that you have to purchase. This is available now on Blender Market. So I'll put it in the link in the description below. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to install the other one that I have here. So let me just get rid of this 3D print toolbox and install the other one that I have on my desktop. So this is what the second version is going to look like. As you see, it's changed a lot and there's a, a bit better of what you have. You can now export your results. So like you can show, like say if you're doing an update for Cults 3D, you can now uh, paste in your update list when you uh, patch your model. You can now show people exactly what's patched and you can include a text file instead of having to write out every increment and every digit. Because after uh, Cura 2 came out, a lot of the old models that are trying to be sliced that worked before don't work anymore. So it's good to go back in and update it. You can now change the uh, default uh, color of your background. So if you're working with an STL like I am, I could go into my color options like this and I could easily set the color in my background like so so that's really good to have so if I wanted it red to make sure I can see like you know all the edges and stuff like that so you can even do things like that you know whatever whatever but yeah having that's really good to have for the background and you can change it back to white if you like you do have your manifold and your triangulate distorted uh, faces so this works right now. The manifold button, I'm still getting a few errors on, so I will fix that, so don't worry about that. But this is coming very, very soon, so if you have already purchased the add-on and it's only been out for a couple of days, uh, you will be getting this version very shortly. This is the best version that you will be getting, and I am actually kind of proud to be releasing this because nobody knows why Blender decided to remove this, so I just decided to come back in and make you guys a good one so thank you all for watching today's video i hope you check out my add-on on blender market at boss poses and this is available now and uh, i can't wait to get this update to you all thank you all for tuning in and have yourselves a great holiday take care